magnetic, she's magnetic. Eyes are magnetic, full so She's magnetic, yeah. she's magnetic. Eyes are magnetic. Ladies and gentlemen, it's gotta be DJ Cole Jazz. She's magnetic, she's magnetic. She's magnetic, full so She's magnetic, she's magnetic. Eyes are magnetic, full so Absolute nostalgia. I'm honestly like, you know, I don't even know. I have no words because sometimes when you watch such videos, 
it's just realized that our music has evolved so much, but that particular song will remain legendary. To Endele, Amatusi Endele, I think it's time to Endele, because right now in studio we've got Kolo, 20 years in the industry, two decades of Kolo, and he's going to be bringing to you, you know, some, some beautiful tracks every 20th that is going to be happening for the next 20 weeks, and then we've got a brand surprise, a big surprise happening on the 20th of October. So let's get into it and speak to Kolo and talk about how, you know, he plans to give us so much more that we want. We really do want to see more of you, want to hear more of you, and we're glad that you've listened. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank I'm you for coming here, firstly. Thank you for having me. I'm actually excited, man. Okay. I've heard so, so much about you. I've seen you. But I've, I've, I was yet to interact okay. face to face. It's a pleasure having you. Thank you so much. And it's an absolute pleasure knowing that, you know, you're going to be gracing us with your voice. Asante San. Very soon. Mm -hmm. Tell us more. Well, yeah, man. 20 years later, um, the big question is what next? But before we get there, yeah. uh, as you mentioned, you know, it's... Just being able to pay homage, mm. you know, um, it's been a long time coming and the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. Mm. We love to hear it. Mm. You know, when we see stories, um, success stories, of course, comeback stories, it's something that I feel, it just, it just makes me happy and it makes me so proud to know that, you know, when you have ups and downs in life and then you come back with a bang stronger than ever, I think that's what you're just about to prove to the, the whole of Kenya. Well, eh, that one, that one, I don't know. That's a, that's a tall order. <laughs> that's a tall order. Well, we're being positive. Yes. We're manifesting. That's yes. what we do here. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So about Kenya, um, I mean, I've heard they say that the divine purpose of Kenya is to be a springboard of revival. Okay. You know, so I guess we, we are all a hope story, mm. you know, and for me, I'd like to tell that story beautifully from a musical perspective right and that's why we are celebrating those two decades in the industry in the industry in the music industry the first time i got into a studio to record music ilikuwa 2001 how old were you then 16 wow 16 is when you first started when I first recorded the first song I was 16 then the first breakthrough song okay was in 2002 and that was uh, Maniac's Anthem was the song it was part of the Ogopa One compilation album right that right. was the album it was legendary at that time. yeah 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 still is <laughs> still is today interestingly that sound is the most sought after sound today yeah yeah for sure Speaking of sound, you know, 20 live sessions is what we're going to be expecting from you. What can we, you know, what are we about to hear? Mm -hmm. Give us a feel of what exactly we're about to hear and what we're about to witness. Well, for the past um, eight weeks now, um, I've been going live. Okay. Okay. I've b I started off eight weeks ago to the countdown. Right. So the countdown to the bash. Yes, the big bash. The big bash, <laughs> you know. So um, we've been counting down some of those greatest hits that I recorded from 2000, sorry, 2022. Mm -hmm. So 2022, I released a song called Wera Song. Right. In 2021, I did Cheza Biggie. In 2020, I did a song called Conqueror. In 2019, I did Nibebe. In 2018, I did Jijue. 2017 mm. was Bazo Kizo. Yes. 2016, we did what? Another good one. Another um, good one. <laughs> yeah, what's that guy's name, actually? <laughs> and Kakiru. And then just this, yesterday, Thursday, we did uh, Floss Nawewe, mm -hmm. which uh, was in collaboration with uh, Stella Mwangi, oh, aka nice. STL, and Mimo. So the next week... It's a surprise. It's a surprise. Okay. But it has a lot to do with launching the socialite career. Oh. 
very very interesting okay, yes okay someone's career took off with the song that we're going to celebrate next week on thursday we're so. ready i am so <laughs> ready because i think i know who and what <laughs> it's fine. we'll see it for ourselves we'll hear it for ourselves and yeah. of course we'll get to know more about it next week when the time comes mm. um now Kolo, tell us about you know this comeback right what exactly why 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 now why 20 years later is it something that you've been planning for a while or you know you just decided that it's time it needs to be done i need to do this big bash i need to have a concert i need to perform for my fans who who are known as Colo colossia colossians colossians well, how are they how do you say it colossians, colossians okay they, uh, you know yeah <laughs> you, you know yeah so why exactly did you decide that you know this is the time that we i need to give back to my fans i need to perform for the colossians well um i think comeback is more of an understatement okay perhaps we'll call it a status of my testimony mm -hmm. um 20 years in the game right and you know the genesis of all this even just going live consistently on on my socials started off uh when i'll take you back to last year just okay. after the election right so immediately after the elections my music director is called mozart rich roots he's a classical pianist um he tells me yo kolo i think you need to just go over for the Kenya Music Festivals. The Nationals was held at, in Kisumu. Okay. So he told me, just go, take your pen and paper, take notes, refresh, clean your ears That's up. It's very course. interesting. So you actually went? Yes. Wow. How was the experience? An eye-opener. Different. To understand, because as musicians, the atmosphere was full of afro beats and I'm a piano and that has been the case and for the longest time. And that's the sound time. that the youth now relates to. Yes. So as a musician who's been there before, I had to go down and regroup. So I spent an entire week at the festivals. Wow. 70,000 kids running all over the place and I went to the different classes. We attended the gala. Then I figured okay, I would love to spend some more time in Kisumu. And to be able to just enjoy the entire space, I ended up at radio. Now, I ended up having a show, a breakfast show, uh, on Urban Radio in Kisumu. But for record history, I think we can put this down. Yeah. Uh, I, was, I was employed for exactly 20 days <laughs> before I got a show cause letter and a termination letter. Uh -huh. So I was like, okay, you give me lemon, I'm going to squeeze out the best lemonade. So I'd never gone online. Okay. And I had like a following on my social medias. And I always wondered, okay, how am I going to engage guys? Because right. I just didn't want to go live for the sake of it. So instead of going for four hours hmm. on radio, and I can't go for four hours on my IG, for instance. Of course, it's an hour. Yeah. So I just asked guys how, uh, guys were like, I think you should be coming live just at least an hour. So I asked guys what times and everyone agreed. About three guys were like from 9 a.m. So from February to date, I've been consistently going live for an hour every day. Wow. How, how did you manage to keep up? You know, it's a lot of hard work. And like, you need to be consistent. It's, it's, it's a lot of effort. People don't realize, but social media, I'm sure now that you've seen the game and how it's changed. Yeah. I mean, what, back in the day when you were 16 and when yeah. you just started off, there yeah. was no Instagram, no. there was no Facebook. Yeah. And things were so different for a musician and a mm. rapper back then. Mm. But now the entire game has changed. Yeah. So how have you been trying to adapt to this new Kenya um, this new you know music industry that is yeah. in Kenya right now well it's ever evolving of course and you can't s get stuck in one place so right. it's also it has a lot to do with the attitude that you have in embracing change mm. and um, yeah we learn every day uh, social media of course is w was a foreign concept you know um, having grown up with no social media at all and slowly trying to just embrace it um but i guess it's 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 timely 
it's what's needed and just apart from entertaining people there's also the aspect of influence of course how do you positively influence whatever audience that mm. you have you're an influencer yourself <laughs> influencer hmm. <laughs> that hmm. term <laughs> that term that term but uh yeah um you know, I, back then, at that time, you were still an influencer, just that you didn't know it. Because <laughs> the word the didn't exist, because yes. you were influencing people's mindsets. Mm -hmm. You were influencing their taste yes. in which they, you know, consumed music. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you were still an influencer, mm -hmm. even then. <laughs> yes. So you don't, like, now it's more on being very intentional. Absolutely. You know? And what's the motive behind the influence, you know? And so... I'm very passionate about the music sector mm -hmm. of our country. And when we're talking of Kolo at 20, um, there's the aspect of, okay, we're celebrating those 20 years, but what next? Right. And so uh, they say experience is the best teacher. Mm. So I'm in a better position and a better place to be able to positively impact the incoming generation. You know, we've set up uh, structures to be able to teach oh that's amazing yeah to teach young musicians and artists on how they can you know work through their careers mm. you know yeah so it's not just about an individual it's about celebrating what we have in East Africa yeah so the conversation yeah. is not just about Kenya yeah but more so if hip-hop for instance hip-hop culture is has influenced our generation and hip hop this year is turning 50. Mm. So the impact of hip hop in the African continent has seen Africa now emerge with something called Afrobeats. Of course. Yeah. But that's, we're getting a lot of noise and that has been championed from West and South Africa. But there's an East African perspective of the same. So Kolo at 20, you would say, is like a build up to that conversation so moving forward right Kolo what kind of genres of music would you want to tap into would you want to explore because you've said a lot about Afrobeats and I'm a piano you know you've mentioned that that's the new sound Why are you going to try and integrate your style with Afrobeats and a piano is that something that you are interested in doing in future what exactly interests you now just making creating content and telling the story beautifully if you listen to some of the songs that we did back in the day right it wasn't about genres mm. it was music when you listen to maniac's anthem hare twendele and those songs are still being played today even even now you when know, you go to clubs when and that song plays twendele and hare yeah, yeah. like everybody just you know breaks out and like starts dancing it was even when we were creating the song that time it was about making good music beautifully 100 percent. you know so i think we're just going to maintain uh, the same 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 space just making okay creating music beautifully and telling the story beautifully mm. yeah interesting mm. kolo tell me who is your biggest fan who is my biggest fan i would love to know <laughs> my biggest fan is me your biggest fan is yeah. you <laughs> Okay, fine. <laughs> Who is the second biggest fan? My second biggest fan, uh, I would say, is my daughter. Really? Yeah. She's, she, she actually sings your songs from back word in the day word. as well? Word for wow. word. Wow. How old is she? She turned 12. So she knows the, the songs from back in the day as well? A lot more. That's amazing. <laughs> I, I love to hear that. <laughs> It's very mm, nice to mm, hear. Mm, okay. Mm. And and as Kolo, you know, if there is one person that you get inspiration from that really, really motivates you, some you could probably call them a role model. Who would that be for you? Growing up up until now. Uh -huh. Wow. Hey, you've put me on the spot. <laughs> I'm sure stop, stop from your heart. I'm sure everyone everyone who knows me is just watching and wondering. <laughs> tell mama, us. <laughs> no, no, but, just just talk talk from the heart and tell us, you know. Uh, an inspiration. Who who has inspired me? Yes. In your music industry, in, in your career music. as a musician. As a musician. Yeah. Uh, that's very interesting. I'm spoiled for choice. Okay, give us two. I'm making it easier for you. Uh, <laughs> well, I'd start with definitely Roba. Oh, okay. Roba, 
from the group Kleptomaniacs, Mr. Robert Manyasa. Special shout out to him. Are you guys still in touch? Oh. All the time? Maze Brotherhood. Oh, we love, lovely. That's amazing. Yeah. Roba inspired me a lot and also Nyashinsky. It's beautiful. We saw you on stage together. Mm -hmm. That was phenomenal. I was very happy to see that. I awesome. hope that happens again. Well... Cough, <laughs> cough. <laughs> <laughs> let's just see, let's just see. We'll see, we'll, we'll did, find out. Did you, did you pull up for that event? I was actually there. Nice. And I witnessed it. I'm glad. I'm and glad. I, my phone was out, nice, I was like, nice, nice. what? Nice, nice. It was nice. very cool and nice. you know, it just gave us so much nostalgia, such a beautiful throwback. Yes. And then witnessing it so many years down mm -hmm. the line and mm -hmm. you're just like, mm -hmm. you're still as good as you were back in the day. For me, that night was something special because especially for the youngins well, and they knew your, they knew your music now this is the thing everybody was singing yeah. it word for word they, were, they knew the music but they were wondering who are these guys <laughs> now this is <laughs> yeah. but the ones that were now back yeah could relate. Uh, millennials, we, we knew you, you we know, know you. So it was Gen Z might be like Gen oh, Z. struggling a little bit. It was night school for them. So, you know, even for me after that, I was telling Yashinsky that, hey, Mazome to party a pressure more. <laughs> Anyone who would be interested to dial into either Roba or Kolo and they want to discover more, then I had to go back and regroup. And that's why um, after doing the lives, uh, consistently and then we got to June after a show we did in Nakuru right I was invited for to hang out it was my first club appearance okay. at Chili's lounge it was they call it legends night okay so the concept behind that night my music director and I were like figuring out okay what do we do so we just said let's just t tell a music safari of those 20 years you've been in the game so we did a repertoire and then we went and hit out we went and hung out in the club. So after that, immediately after that, we went back and did uh, like a snoop through what we did. Mm. And he's like, hmm, why don't we do something called like Kolo at 20? And that's how that was born. Hmm, then, it's super cool. It's very smart. And I think that it's something that will actually jog everyone's memory. Yeah. And not just that, but also like remind people of who you are now as well and the kind of sound that you have now Absolutely. it's very different from back in the day and mm -hmm. it's, i feel like you've evolved as well as an artist mm -hmm. as well as a human being so we're we're, we're looking forward to nice, this nice, yeah. nice. so Kolo, tell me like when you decided to to you know do this 2017 is when you came back and you're like you know what i'm going to do this in a big way i'm going to try and get back into the industry and just do what i love to do most which is you know performing and singing um what was the first thought that came through your mind when you were like doing it for the very first time mm -hmm. how, how how did you feel at that moment and doing it alone for starters okay so the group klepto disbanded in 2007 yes uh that was as soon as we we're done doing our u.s tour mm. and uh at the point i was coming back with roba we decided to you know do our thing we decided to try it out but okay. then i ventured into other sectors within yes. the music industry yes you know? sorry even creative so i ended up doing uh agency a lot of agency work at some point i worked at uh scanned mm. as a copywriter for okay. some time and then you know from there i was like nah i want to do my music yeah. so i tried it out but at that time the market had changed completely mm. and everything had changed so you know you had a lot of west african music playing right and also tanzanians had already come into the market and you know kenyans we just we welcome everything and i mean seasons changed so at the point I got a chance of traveling back to the U.S. in 2015 is when I reconnected with Nyashinsky after okay. eight years. So before he came back, I came back to Kenya and I was telling guys, yo, this guy is coming back and it's, it's takeover time. Yeah. So from the time, those 10 years that he was in the U.S., I was here holding it down and that's the time that I got a chance to work a lot with P unit yes on tracks like you guy mm. that's the time we got to work with Camp Mula 
and you know Party discovering don't stop. yeah you know <laughs> a favorite you know, yeah so i had my fair share of my 10 years to be able to just dominate through and then i had to also take a break okay. and that's when i in 2017 i went back to school okay. i joined kabarak to study music that's amazing yeah, yeah. yeah. And as Kolo, you know, as we wrap up, if there's something that you want to tell anybody who's watching, Colossians, as we call them, your fans, people who have supported you through these years, ever since you were 16 to now, to date, what would you like to tell them? From the bottom of your heart, talk to them. That's your camera. That's my camera right yes. there. Maze Nataka Kuwasho, the best is yet to come, as mentioned now, just because I'm with Shiksha. You all right? Yes. Shikisha. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. Love to hear it. Thank you so much for coming. We are looking forward. Uh, the date is October 20th. 20th. Yeah. October 20th. Yeah. Watch out. Uh -huh. Watch out for Kolo, the man, the legend. And uh, we're, we're, we're looking forward to seeing what you have in store for us, for your fans. And yeah, just it's just so nice to see you back in the game and just doing what you love to do. Thank you so much for coming here. Thank you so much for having me here. I think Cole Jax needs to play one of your tracks. Just so that we, we can see you vibe Kidogo with us. It's a must. Cole Jax. Yes. He's ready. Are you ready? Twende Kazi. Twende Kazi. <laughs> We're on a big every day. I'm a dream, I'm a dream, I'm a dreamer. Yeah. Kuna vision in commission. Natembea juu ya maji niko fishing harvest ina manisha provision iko locked damu alisha mwaga lo mwanangu niko so mtiti mtiti mdogo mdogo aste aste naipeleka slow sina speed it's a norm flow of mom sing so more mindset ya kingdom hii ni kani hit financially to go free to go free kolo general ni physically fit Yesu jeme dari niko spiritual elite no delay Heart of a lion Guruma everywhere Let me take you to Mount Zion In me, me, now, way, way I'm a dreamer, I'm a dreamer, I'm a dreamer Where I pick up every day I'm a dreamer, I'm a dreamer, I'm a dreamer I'm a dream, I'm a dream, I'm a dreamer. Uh, a shika. Pilka, pilka, kuta, futa, chakubika. Pilka, pilka, zama, futa, ya kufika. Sunny to rise, sunny to set. Na sanitize, na si bus to go set. Time in a fly, to go down in a jet. I'm all about the business, in case you forget. Hima isha panachil, gotta stack up all the cheese. Ni areas to na clear. Yeah, yeah, ni payback. Ilim fuko iwe deep, las madoku a die, best believe I'm a needle in a haystack. A needle in a haystack he Bars. is. <laughs> Mic drop. Let's drop it. That is Kolo in the house. Thank you so much for coming right here on Easy Friday. We wish you all the very best for the future. Of course, your live sessions as well as the big day, 20th of October. Remember, he's going to be marking two decades in the industry, 20 years of Kolo. So make sure you support him. Go check him out on social media. Um, catch his live sessions and just just really show him the love that he deserves. And with that, it's time for me to say goodnight to you. I'll leave you in the able hands of Cole Jacks as he takes over with Disco Funk. I'll see you next week. Goodnight.